Gil Zheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. I can yell all I want because there's no one around this area, <laughs> for sure. Anyways, <laughs> today is July 26th, 2018. It is my outing 102 of this year. That's right, folks, we have finally passed 100 outings for the year of 2018. Quite a milestone, right? Although every year, you know, I pass 100. Let's see how far I can go this year. Today I'm here at one of my local creeks, at a portion of the creek that I have never explored before. So I'm going to be doing some fishing, and the main objective of the day is to find out if there are any Micropterus dolomiel, aka smallmouth bass, around this area. Now, bad news is it has been quite a bit, you know, it has been raining, I'm sorry, quite a bit here in the Philadelphia, Bucks County area. So check this out, huh? The creek is really like chocolate milk, man. That is the bad news about today. The good news is when you encounter a situation like this, when, when the rivers or the creeks are raging, it is kind of easier to locate the fish, right? Never forget, just fish the slow pools and the current breaks and they should be there. There are going to be two different types of lures that I'm going to be using today. One of them inline is spinners, okay? Mainly the Johnson Minnow Spin and the Thomas EP Series lures. And then the second one is going to be a traditional jig, 164 ounce jig head with my trusted Euro Tackle Micro Finesse Collection. I'm, I got with me here the B-Vibe the Anisoptera and the Fat Assassin. I love that name somehow. So let me put my waders on, you know, and we gotta walk around, man. We gotta grind, it is hot as hell, you know? But hopefully we are going to find some fish. Stay tuned. Is that a hit or was that a snag though? Legs here. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. First fish of the day. Oh, son, chocolate milk fishing right here. But we're still locating some fish. By no means, it is a big one. It is just a small red breast sunfish. The Lepomis auditus. But check it out. Uh, at least we know there's some life around here. So this is a good start. Always a good start. Colors are pretty faint on this fish, as you guys can see. I mean, that's because the coloration of the water, right? It's like chocolate milk. Anyways, <laughs> let's take a photo and release this guy. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. give my anisoptera back, bro. I really wanted to use my photo tank today. That's all right. That fish is gone. I really wanted to use my photo tank today, folks, you know, to give you guys a better view of the fishes that we're going to catch today, right? However, as you guys can see, the water is really chocolate milk. So, I mean, it would look ugly even in the photo tank, right? So let's just walk, wade, I mean, wade. <laughs> let's just wade, right, not walk, and cast around and see what else we can catch. Fish on, fish on. What is this? It's a little red breast again. No, wait, 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 wait. It looks a little bit different. Ooh, it's a pumpkin seed, son. Oh man, I mean, not the smallie that we're looking for, but uh, this is our second fish of the day and a pumpkin seed. Two different species of sunfish in like five casts. Not that bad. Very nice, very nice. Inhaled that anisoptera just the way we like it. Here, 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 little fella. You can go back and be a happy fish. I kind of see why there's fish here though. Oh, there we go, there we go. I kind of see why there's fish over here because there's a little current break and like I said when the water is like chocolate milk these fish they really really like to stay right at the current break to save energy right 
save energy from all the strong current out there I don't think there are many many bigger predatory species of fish over here probably the smallest would be the biggest around and I don't even know what size they would get to but this little slow pool that I found right in front of us is a little refugee for for you know for the fish when the water is like this oh what is that wait what is oh it's a rock bass look at that man species number three of the day when i went in bed i just felt a thump i wasn't really sure what it was a beautiful little rock bass the umbloplitis hupestris so a lot of people have trouble actually identifying the species so there we go first and foremost rock bass has got a big mouth look at that mouth huh very big right usually red eyes okay and then on the side of its body it's got these patterns right over here the name is rock bass because of course it like it likes to live around rocks right very very cool it's got a little bit black here on the anal thing all right let's take a shot well, I don't know about the smallies, but we got three species of fish so far, including this very beautiful rock bass. Smallmouth bass, nowhere to be seen yet. Quite impressive, they are right against the wall. Wow, son! Just got our fourth species of the day against the wall. It's a green sunfish, the Lepomis cyanellus. You know it, right? It's supposed to have a little bit of purple on the opercular flap, but the colors are so faint. Got a few blue lines on its face, the yellow and white here on the pelvic, right? Pelvic fin, anal, caudal, soft dorsal. It's a beautiful, beautiful little sample right here. As Uncle Steve would say, boys and girls, there goes a little fish. <laughs> we are catching everything, everything today, but no smallies. I think it's valid to say that we have caught everything else around the area. And the only thing that we can't locate or there's a lack of presence thereof over here is the smallmouth bass. Pretty, pretty crazy. I'm going to give a few more casts over here. And then we're going to change spots. Oh, there we go. Ooh, son. Not bad. This is a little bit bigger. Probably our biggest red breast of the day. Still no smallies. I'm about to change the spots. She got to change the spots now, but there we go, huh? Biggest red breast of the day laying right at the corner of the bridge wall over here where there's no current probably just you know ready to ambush the smaller species that pass by before I continue fishing for today let me just give you guys a brief update of what has been going on so far otherwise later in the comment sections you know we got to start getting those comments right Leo you should have done this Leo you should have done that so, you know, I would like to remind you all that when you guys watch the YouTube videos, you guys only see the, the footage that was successful. But that doesn't mean that the entire day, that's all that I did, right? So, the update for now, I've been fishing for about two and a half hours. As you guys saw, we did really, really well on the 164 ounce jig with just a little pink anisoptera, the Orotaco anisoptera, right? And then I switched to the Thomas EP series inline spinner, gave, gave a few casts, you know, around the eddies and the current breaks and the slow pulls. About 35 minutes, not a single hit. It was so miserable. And then I switched to a 132 ounce jig, I, a heavier profile. I put a little fat assassin on, which is a two inch lure from Aerotackle, gave a few casts away for 20 minutes not a single hit so you know what i really decided to go with what is working for the day i'm back to the 164 ounce jig instead of the pink we are rocking a chartreuse anisoptera i was going downstream we gotta go upstream now and hopefully we're going to catch some new species for today 
and hopefully we're going to find those smallies. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of rain recently for sure, folks. You guys see this, this whole pool of water right here? Usually when the creek is at its regular water levels, this place is dry, no water whatsoever. But because of the rain, the creek is up by about, I would say a good two feet, two to three feet. That's pretty crazy. Thankfully, the water is receding right now as the day goes by so it's going to get better for us oh boy now my main question is how the heck are we going to fish this yo this is not good I mean this is raging if it was a little bit calmer it will be all right, but raging like this, I don't know. Well, let's try to find some some current breaks and uh, and catch some fish. Uh, I don't know about this, guys. I mean, right here, I'm trying to cross to an area over there that has a little slow pool. The water is only on my knees but I'm feeling the full force of the creek already. Uh, you know, waiting when a creek is raging and I don't really know the depth around this area here. One false step and I may just fall into a little hole. And I'm using a set of waders, so always safety first. I think I'm gonna get out of the spot, you know, before I step wrong and I die, you know? <laughs> Hell no. There's a green sunfish under this rock, 100%! Oh, it's not a green sunfish. It's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock bass. <laughs> okay, I mean, it is called rock bass for, for a reason, right? Like I emphasize in this video, they love rocks. I thought it was a green sunfish. I'm casting right next to this little rocky area right here. Interesting. I think this is about it. That's it. No more fooling around. I officially give up. I mean, just look at this. You know what I'm saying? Just look at this right here. This is the power of modern nature. I explored a little bit below the dam, above the dam, tried to fish, you know, the, the slow, the, the current breaks, right? The slow pools and nothing productive today. On one hand, I'm pretty satisfied because after looking at this, you know, I didn't really get skunked. I mean, you know, Aero Tackle Micro Finesse Collection was on points today, is laying those smaller species. But on the other hand, I guess I'll just wait a few days until the water goes down and the creek is actually clear, crystal clear, so that I can come back and explore it properly, right? A lot of places that I wanted to go to today, to wade to today, it was not accessible because the water level is too high. But once the water level goes down, the current decreases, right? We will be able to go to those places and give a few casts. Anyways, we are finishing the day with four different species of fish, which is, you know, I I'm more than satisfied. We got a pumpkin seed, the Lepomis gibbosus, a lot of red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auditus, a few, like three, four green sunfish, the Lepomis cyanellus, and just a few cute rock bass, the Umbloplitis pupestris as well. A day like this, when situations, when the cur you know, the situation is so brutal, I'm, I'm more than happy. But this is it, I'm calling it a day I will see you guys next time, hopefully when the water is a little bit more clear. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, tight lines, and take it easy, folks.